Do you wear makeup every day, but you're over 50 and you want a more natural makeup look? Well, my name is Brett, and for years I worked as a makeup artist, and I'm going to share with you a foolproof, under 15 minute beauty routine where you can get a completely natural look for every day. <music> Well, it's no secret that most men that I talk to don't like women who wear too much makeup. And it's also no secret that when you have too much makeup on, it could acerbate your lines and crevices on your face and actually be aging. And it's even less of a secret that when you wear bright colors and too much makeup and a dark lipstick as you age over the age of 50, that it can actually draw attention to you in a negative way and actually detracts from your natural beauty and maybe even detracts from your best features. So I'm going to show you my 15 minute makeup routine that you can do every day that will allow you to step out in style, look beautiful, and look not only age appropriate, but even look younger. Okay, so the first step is to make sure you have clean, beautiful, exfoliated skin. Step two is to moisturize, and I love Nutura by Avon. This cream is literally usually on sale for $4. It has salicylic acid in it, has a hobo oil in it, it has glycolic acid in it in a very small amount so it doesn't irritate your skin. And in the winter, this is my go-to moisturizer. I do use other Avon treatments and I'll talk about those in another video, but this is just a great universal moisturizer that even if you use one of their other creams, you should always have this in your makeup bag. Step number three is gonna be get your hair out of your face. So we need to take that out of the way. And I have this cute little clip that I got at Target. And as you can see, I have a little psoriasis here on my forehead that I absolutely hate, but I'm gonna show you how I get that corrected as well. Step four is we're gonna use a little concealer and then I'm gonna show you and talk about foundations really quickly. So for a concealer, I always recommend this. I like the Avon True Color Tubed Concealer. It's reasonably priced. I love it in the nude. It's neutral and I just do this around my eyes. So you have a little psoriasis here. I put a little bit of it. Okay. Now we have to do this really quick because we only want five minutes to get ready and we want a natural makeup look. So I'm just gonna blend this in really quickly with my fingers. Doesn't have to be perfect because we can blend it later. Okay, now after we have on just our concealer around our eyes and in our nose, and we're not even gonna do anything on our chin area yet, I am gonna do my eyebrows. You're just gonna Follow the line of your eyebrows. I need to dye my eyebrows, they're due. And we're gonna do it just short, quick strokes. And then a little bit of powder. Now if you have brown eyebrows already, you may just need to groom them and fill it in, but my hair is dyed dark. My hair is naturally blonde, and to be honest with you, my hair is a lot gray right now, so it wouldn't really matter. I would have to do this, unless I dyed my eyebrows, I would have to do this anyway, because my eyebrows would be gray, just like my roots are gray. <laughs> our next step is going to be our foundation. Now, the whole idea between not wearing a lot of makeup is not wearing foundation. I'm gonna use this Avon Mineral Powder foundation. Now, if you love Bare Minerals, you'll love this. It's an award-winning product for Avon. It's a bestseller. It's a lot less expensive than Bare Minerals, and I think it performs ab absolutely the same, if not better. Now, I'm only going to put a little in the bottom of my little lid, just like you do with Bare Minerals. I have a Bare Minerals brush. I'm going to tap off the excess, and what we're going to do now is just put it on the areas over our concealer and I'm going to rub it in. Now these lights in this light box are super super bright. When we're done. I'm going to show you what this makeup looks in the broad daylight. 
but I'm just rubbing it into my skin. So you have to remember, I'm not applying more. I'm not adding a bunch of makeup to my skin. I'm just blending, blending what I already did put on there. All right, keep my hair back. Next step we're gonna do is blush because you wanna look young and youthful and natural glow. And for this, I'm gonna use a pink from Avon. This is pearlescent pink. I also love the um, tropical peach. So if you're more of a warm skin tone, this tropical peach is great. And I don't apply it directly on my skin. I apply it with a blush brush or a foundation brush and it's creamy to powder. But what I love about this is I don't like powder blush on women over the age of 50 unless you're just putting blush on in the evening because sometimes in different lighting I usually prefer a creamier blush so I have this old body shop brush and I'm just rubbing it on here and I'm gonna smile and I'm gonna put it and I love this because it has a little bit of frost to it just a tiny bit but it's gonna give you that glow and the whole point is to just rub it in a circular motion as you keep smiling because you want it to look natural and I wouldn't even take it anywhere else. I would just keep rubbing it, rubbing it on my cheeks. Cause see, when you want a natural glow, you're not gonna be wearing a lot of eye makeup and you're not gonna be wearing a lot of um, dark lipstick and your eyebrows are gonna be subtle. So you just want your cheeks to look natural and glowy. What I love about this blush in particular, it has a highlighter in it because it's pearlescent, so you don't have to use a highlighter if you don't want, because the whole point of this is natural, quick, and easy makeup. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Avon Felt Tip Eyeliner Pen. There are a lot of companies that make them. I love this one in soft gray. Even though my hair is dark, you can use a brown. And you can also use the black if you would prefer, but for this natural look, I really love this very subtle felt gray marker. So I'm gonna hold my eye up and I'm just, I shook it up a little bit and I'm just gonna start at the outer corner and then go back over. I'm gonna try to push it as close to my lashes as I can, but don't go crazy because you could fill that in later. See, just a little thin line. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side just gonna start all right now you could see that there's a little line that's where my lashes meet my eyeliner can you see that and I'm gonna fill that in I don't want to put this because it's liquid really close to my lash line, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna take my Glimmer Sticks black eyeliner and I'm gonna twist it up just a tad. This is already dry and I am just going to very lightly just push it into my lash line where there's a little demarcation. I'm not gonna take this all the way under my waterline you know, our vision is important. Makeup isn't as important as our vision, so I'm not gonna screw with my eyes, but I just push it in there a little bit. And now we're gonna take the slant brush. I got this one from Avon Mark. You might have seen it in one of my other videos. And I'm very lightly just gonna blend that all in. When you put your mascara on, you're not gonna see that line of demarcation. It's totally gonna take it away. All right, so now we're gonna do our mascara. I love this. I had one other favorite, um, I had one other favorite Avon mascara in the green tube for thick lashes, but this is my all-time favorite. I, I will buy this forever. I love the way it goes on. I love the way my lashes look after I put it on. It stays on all day. I love it because it doesn't have one of those plastic brushes, which I hate because they hurt me. Is it too dark? All right, now I'll just take the tip and very lightly just hit my bottom lashes. You don't need a whole bunch. I do want to wear eyeshadow, and I don't always. I use this Avon Quad Mocha Latte, and I just take this kind of pretty, kind of a little bit of a pearlescent brown 
and I do it after my mascara because I just don't I want to see how much I really need and I just put a little bit in my crease and that's it nothing else nothing else at all and the only other thing you can do if you want to is take this gore I love this color this gorgeous pearl essence champagne it's worth it just to get this color and I just do a little bit and you don't even have to do this if you have different shaped eyes but I have very deep set eyes and I'm a little darker in the corner so I just take it and I touch it up there so once my mascara is dry and you know you have to wait for your mascara to be dry because your hair can get caught in your mascara for a last glowing touch and then I'm gonna do my lips if you wanted to and you don't have to do this my favorite Avon highlighter I'm fair so I love the champagne and just with your finger if you want to and you don't have to because the pearlescent blush already has a little pearl in it you could take a little and just put it on the tops of your cheekbones because the whole point is to have glowing skin and that's why I use the bare minerals that's why I use the Avon mineral foundation over a liquid foundation because for some reason I just think it can look heavy sometimes although I have a favorite from Avon the nude foundation which comes in a tube and that looks super natural and I'll do a video on that in the future now for your lips my lips are really pale and some people are lucky enough that their lips are not that pale so what I do is I just take this mauve Avon lip color and I'll list everything below that I use then I take the new Avon lip glow in social light oh my god I love this and I just put that on over it because it's my opinion so you just want your lips to look full if you are a brunette with an olive complexion you could put a dark berry stain on your lips I know a lot of you probably have boom you can use the boom stick on your lips you can use any of these you can use this Avon blushing stick on your lips if you wanted to it would be really easy just a and it gives you that same look that you have on your cheeks so let me thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video I so appreciate all of you don't forget you can go to my website bosslifebeauty.com I have a couple downloadables there you can download my 90 day challenge you can download my ultimate packing guide for beauty products and there are articles and blog posts on style and fashion thank you so much and I'll see you next Tuesday